This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Audible Plus. Visit audible.com slash macvoices or text macvoices to 500-500 to start your free 30-day trial. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is part two of a Mac Voices Live discussion about tech resolutions for 2021. And I wanted to just echo a comment that I made at the beginning of the first part of, of this uh, discussion, and that is that politics has no place in Mac Voices. Mac Voices is here to deliver tech information and entertainment. That's why you come here. You don't come here for political commentary. You can get plenty of that elsewhere. That said, some of the tech resolution discussions centered around social media and some of the challenges that can be associated with social media. And I wanted to make sure you understood that those comments, so that you're not assigning any specific meaning to anyone's comments, uh, were this discussion happened the day before the events of January 6th at the U.S. Capitol. So just so you know, that's that's all. Enjoy this. It's uh, It's a lot of fun. It's your friends and mine getting together and having a great time and having, um, hopefully delivering some information that will make you think a little bit. Here we go. Frank? I was thinking of learning computing this year. (laughs) (laughs) I, I know absolutely nothing of what I'm doing. And if you saw what my desk looks like now, this is basically a resolution. It's going to take three years. I've got so much paperwork. I'm trying to decide because my iMac is a 2015. I was going to go to an all iPad system. But okay. now that I saw the M1 and then Dave had to go put his thing up online, i now like, I want that. Oh, you mean the dock? Do I need it? For the hub? Yeah. Do I need it? Uh, no. But it's like, I got that. And the other thing I want to do is I've renovated my website and I'm going to make it a point to try to actually write this year. Hello. I used to just take my reviews from screencast online. And when they re- writes reverted back to me, dump them on there. Mm-hmm. Now I want to start writing more op-eds and stuff like that. And see Good if I can you. get some going in. I'm here for you, Frank. Good. Do it. Good. Do it. Do it. Thank you. That's great. That's great. Yes. And that fits in with something that I have if we ever get to it later. So good job. (laughs) Very nice. Okay, Kelly, you're up. What do you think? Brittany has her hand up and I want to know why. Brittany, I'm sorry. Did you? I have a recommendation for the papers on your uh, desk. Can I I I recommend the recycle bin? You'll feel so much better. Oh, no, I, that's I am doing. But the thing is, I have okay. like four years of medical papers. Yeah. A lot of them are like, you know, the summary things you get from the ER and stuff Shredder? like that. It's everything you're told. No, because you can't recycle <laughs> shredded paper. But I have right. boxes You'll here. have to pick one or the other. Right. But. Burn yeah. it. Yeah, I roast marshmallows been, and hot dogs. <laughs> Ooh, <Burn> yeah. <laughs> I literally, my desk has papers that are four to five inches deep deep yeah i have a stack sitting over there that's yeah. not quite that but yeah i have a, a take stack the security of risk just recycle them i have a stack well, of scanning well, I, to do, I, but i also I, have I a recycle fireplace, everything so yeah yeah <laughs> don't, don't i'm not a lawyer but i do know how you to play one on tv better. anyway sorry <laughs> yeah, but, 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 <laughs> are, is yeah. there any is there any reason why you might need some of that later before you just dump it into a recycling. So. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I have a file cabinet next to me so that um, a lot of the junk you get back from hospitals and stuff like that yeah. are summaries. And it's stuff that they asked me when I came in. I told them, and then the idiots print it out, and they give it back to you. Yep. I'm like, well, why do I need this? That's two You don't. I got you here. don't. Those you, you don't. don't. Yeah. So I've also been uh, using Preview and my uh, SE 2020 to try to digitize what I do need to keep. Yes. Yes. Nice. Put that in. Now That's I've also got to fix uh, my computer has gone nuts and my backup system. I used to have redundancy upon redundancy. I've got to get that all straightened out. So it's and I've done nuke and paves and it's still not working. So. It's mm. just going to be a year of, ah. yeah. Well, oh. Your your computer goes back to 2015. 
Yeah, an iMac. Okay. Well, another uh, option, I think, is if your provider supports it, there is uh, medical records in the health app. Maybe they yeah, can no, just no, send I, it to you. I have there. that all hooked up. I'm hooked up with all my oh, that's portals. These are redundant pieces of paper. I have them, too. Oh, and yeah. next time you leave them behind. <laughs> so they'll learn. Oh, no, I, no, I tell the do- <laughs> I, I tell doctors right to their face. I say, yeah, when I get back, either. this is going in, in the recycle bin. Yeah. But don't take it back. Well, they and won't don't, let don't, out that has more work for you. I know, but they won't <laughs> let you hand it out. right it's, back to them. <laughs> the, the American medical industry is. I know. Is, is a whole hour you could do on that. It's a thing. It's paper. Oh, it totally is. But it, yeah, yeah. The the scanning is a good idea though. Plus one to that. Yeah, definitely. Only if you need it though. Yeah, yes. the stuff you the yeah. stuff you need. Don't, don't scan everything. Yeah, no. Yeah. Right. Yes. No. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, sorry, no, no, Chuck. I'm not going to scan everything. No, no, I still stand by what I said. I didn't change my mind, but yeah, I, I, I appreciate that there might be nuances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Kelly, your turn. What are you what are you going to recommend? Um, I am going to recommend uh I, well what what I personally am going to do is uh, I have I have like two that I actually made for myself. Uh one is to get back to um I have an app on my phone that's called the gratitude journal and you have to write down three things that you're grateful for every day and so um mm-hmm. I was kind of hit and miss on that in 2020 to be honest it was more miss than hit and so I need to get back in that habit. Um because having to sit down at the end of the day and put down three things that I'm grateful for, um, because I know I'm going to do it later, I'm a little bit more cognizant of it throughout the day. So it's it's a little bit, you know, blue car syndrome. Like once you're looking for blue cars, there's blue cars everywhere. So if you start looking for stuff to be happy about instead of um, stuff that you read over and over again because you're doom scrolling, um, then your perspective starts to change. There's hey, like Kelly, science behind it and junk. Yeah, there's Mike, like yeah. Mike Sch- Mike Schmidt wrote a shortcut that does that perfectly. Yeah. It so was, I need uh, to day one. Yeah, and so like my personal, like personally, like I need to get better into shortcuts. Um, and I know two people here who are probably going to end up helping me with that, whether they want to or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the other one is uh, email. Um, I get a lot of email that I really don't care about. And so I really need to spend some time and uh, go through and unsubscribe from stuff. It's more turning down the noise. Like we were, I mean, you know, variations on a theme. Um, Spansive. Just turning down the noise. Well, like some of it is stuff that I have opted into, but I don't need, I mean, I might as well just out myself. I don't need the Michael's arts and crafts coupon every day because I don't go to Michael's <laughs> every day. I need it when I need it and I don't need it the rest of the time. So it doesn't need to be in my inbox. It needs to go in my mailing list folder and I need to set up a little bit better routing for the stuff I want to keep. And I need to think twice about what things should make the cut. So um, I get so much email in a day y'all. And I need to just like turn down the volume on that. So um, that's part of it. That's- so, so. So that's those, a good those are my two. That's, are my that's two. A re- I doubt that there's anybody here or anybody that's going to watch this that couldn't do with a little email management. No question. Kelly, yeah. one thing that I did, yes. and, uh, and this is something that I started way back in the, in the, in the before times. Um, <laughs> so it's been like six years. And, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Like forever ago, I set up a, um, uh, a set of rules in the mail app on my Mac mm-hmm. so that anything that's in certain folders, like, like the spam folder or mm-hmm. uh, certain folders where, where like newsletters and stuff go, if the stuff in those folders is more than, I, I think I set it to 30 days, just in case I needed to go back and find something, anything mm-hmm. older than that automatically goes into the, into the trash folder. Nice. 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 Yeah, I need that. I might have to go back to the mail app. Like I've been using MailMate for a long time and it might be time to just go back to mail. I don't know. I'll tell no, you it hasn't I, made any improvements. It, it oh, hasn't wow. made any improvements, okay. but it has all the right uh, plugins for everything that I need to do. Yeah, I think so I still it, use the mail app. If you use it with spam sieve, which allows you to set what is junk yeah. And what is a good message? 
Yeah. That helps out a lot. Well, my problem generally isn't spam. My problem is like, I mean, one problem I have is the other person who thinks that their email address is actually my email address. Um, uh. And the only reason that that's really much of an issue is because that person is in Brazil. And so uh, I get weird Portuguese email that I can't always figure out how to unsubscribe from. Um, but other, like most of the rest of them are, are uh, English speakers. So I can usually um, figure those out. But uh, spam usually isn't the issue. It's just that like I sign up for stuff and then I just keep leaving it in my inbox. And then if I don't read it today, it just continues to sit there unread and like, haunt me and like the mental weight of it of like i need to go clean out my inbox um like is is rough and i don't and 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 i don't want to do it anymore so kelly i have another uh tip for you then yes another thing that i started way back back in the before time years and years ago um i decided that my inbox is uh is merely a conduit and has absolutely no relevance to me and what I did was set up uh, a couple smart folders in mail. Uh-huh. One that shows me everything from like the last week. And then the mm-hmm. other one that shows me just unread messages for, for the last 48 hours. Oh, nice. And I spend most of my time there. in the smart mailbox for the mm-hmm. last 48 hours. Because That's if it's one. older than that... And uh, and I haven't read it yet. Then it's probably one of those things that I don't care about anyhow. Right, 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 right. Oh, you yeah. have to do a YouTube special on that. Oh, seriously? Uh, yeah, we need it. I, I um, could totally set th- make that happen. Um, yeah, my inbox. Like, hold on. I, I I will make you freak out right now. It is nine thousand six hundred and sixty six unread messages. In the inbox. Yeah, mine's in that neighborhood. That's and why I, I don't care because <laughs> that's because good. most of it is uh, is stuff that doesn't matter, and uh, and all I care about really is that smart mailbox. Mm-hmm. In my line of work, I see five digits on the regular. Oh yeah, and the first thing I said is, "Why is that badge on?" <laughs> yeah. The whole inbox it gets rid of a lot of the problem. Yeah, the whole inbox zero thing is greatly thousand. overrated. Yeah, turning off like um speaking of of Brittany professionally, uh she was like, just turn off the badge, Kelly. Uh and so I did. Yeah. Uh so it doesn't show me how many I have unread anymore. It only shows me I do have a badge, but it's for VIP messages. So Same. like a message from the doctor. Have any actual gets me a number. intention on? If you have yeah. no intention on it, badges shouldn't be there. Exactly. And I think you know, I would fold that into um, uh, notifications. You know, uh, yeah. like to, to Andrew's point, no, like oh, that's yeah. also a thing that is notifying you. So you know, maybe yeah. My know, my rule is: does it does it result in an action in the real world? Not did you intend it to, but does it actually result in an action in the real world? Yeah. And I just want to tack on to Jeff's doom scrolling uh, resolution. Remember that your feed is what you make it. So if you don't like uh, the continuous stream of negativity, take the negativity out of your stream. Mm -hmm. You can do that. It's yours. You have the power. So like there's like there's a reason I do follow a lot of people, but like there's a reason I follow Emoji Meadow and Hourly Kitten. And, you know, things like that is because then as I'm scrolling, I get a cute picture of a kitty or I get, you know, R2D2. Like there's an R2D2 account that every so often just tweets like beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. And that's it. And that's all. And sometimes that like, just sounds glorious. It's so good. Um, and I felt like I follow a Big Ben Twitter account. So at the top of the hour, it bongs the time. Like literally, it'll just say bong, bong. And I know it's two o'clock in London. <laughs> that's it. That's all it does. That's the whole thing. That's it. That's the tweet. Twitter an extra hour. This edition of Mac Voices is supported by Audible Plus. Visit audible.com slash Mac Voices or text Mac Voices to 500-500 to start your free 30-day trial. I am excited to welcome Audible as the newest sponsor of Mac Voices. I've been an Audible subscriber for several years and can tell you that adding audiobooks to your regular listening regimen helps expand both your knowledge and your enjoyment of so many subjects. 
Now, Audible has a new option, Audible Plus. With Audible Plus, you get full access to their Plus catalog, which has Audible original selections, audiobooks, and podcasts that number in the thousands. Comedy, romance, true crime, science fiction, those are just a few of the categories that you can choose from. Audible Plus connects you with tons of content. You can even access materials that will help you through guided meditation or get in a workout. All that in one app so that no matter where you are, your Audible Plus library is with you. One thing I really like about Audible is that I can enjoy audiobooks that I would never get a chance to sit down and actually read. Audible takes the boredom out of doing daily routines or chores because I can listen wherever I am or whenever I want, making better use of my time. You can start making better use of your time, too. Visit audible.com slash macvoices or text macvoices to 500-500 to start your 30-day free trial. That's 30 days of access to an amazing catalog of content that you're going to love. Audible.com slash macvoices or text macvoices to 500-500. That's 500-500. Do it now and get started on 30 days of opening yourself up to a new world of audio information and entertainment. Thanks and welcome to Audible as a sponsor of Mac Voices. Why <laughs> would you add that noise to your feeds? I'm I'm fascinated. Because, this does not sound glorious. This sounds horrendous. Because I because as I'm scrolling, I get a little bit of not doom or gloom guaranteed. So I know that there's a tiny bit of sunshine in my feed as I scroll. I've gotten a lot better about like the time Uh, limit and not pulling to refresh and things like that. But I'm scrolling and I get a little meadow made out of flowers of, you know, emoji flowers. And then I scroll a little bit more and I get like, Mm -hmm. you know, a cat and then a cat picture. And we all know cat pictures power the internet. So like I was powerless to resist that anyway. So then, you know, I keep scrolling. I get some news. I get some information. I get some interesting something that somebody discovered about their computer. I get some interesting projects somebody's working on um and then i get you know another little hit of like something that i know is not going to be terrible and so i've sprinkled those in not a ton but i've sprinkled some of those in so that i have an occasional you know here's big ben telling me what time it is like i just the, 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 the first one of you that sends me pictures of, of, of flowers in the meadow is banned from that voice of life for six <laughs> oh months <my> <laughs> I can't find that account fast enough now. No, Chuck, there's no way, as much as I love me some R2D2, there's no way I'm adding that. Like, I, yeah, th- no. I am so sensitive to noise. What um, about that but I do use uh, filters. Twitter account you were telling me, Kelly, where it says something like, hey, meet friend? Yes. Uh, <laughs> the, the self care bot. Like, meet friend, have you had a glass of water? Meet friend, where are your shoulders right now? Yeah, that kind of, yeah. Uh. It's Enough like a little self care account, and I but, <laughs> I like that one too because like yeah because you know sometimes I hit that and I'm like wow you know I've been here a while I should really close this app. Let's get serious. Good lord, Mark Fuccio. Chuck, oh. Oh, okay, hold on, Chuck. Oh. You know that fundamentally, like on a subatomic level, I'm a very silly person. You know this. Well, that's it true. should not Wait, surprise what? you in any way. So I follow like art that I follow R2D2 and Big Ben on Twitter. It should not surprise you in any way that that's no. a thing that happens. OK, no, wait, right. wait. I think we need to solve a really we need to answer an important question. Chuck, do you follow Riker Googling? No. Oh, oh. God, I love Riker Googling. How can you not? I, oh, this this is a topic for another time. It is Mark. Joy. Let's get back to something serious. Please yeah. be serious. <laughs> I I joined a little bit late, so I've heard various answers. I'm not quite sure what the question is. The the question is we're we're trying to give tech resol- tech sort of oriented resolutions for for 2020, and and now the new caveat is that are serious. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, their resolutions were serious. The conversation yeah. that followed was not. Uh, Dang. So, Mark, what do you got for us? Oh, I, I guess the first one, resolution zero, is just everyone wear your GD mask, you know, <laughs> yeah, or, you know, until you get, uh, until you can get your uh, COVID flu shots. And any anti vaxxers out there, you know, F you, you're scum of the earth. 
<laughs> but you know, wow, I'm serious, wow. How serious, really about, feel? serious about uh, serious about tech. Um, one thing I'm one thing I'm you know going to you know, do this year is uh, you know, sort of uh, you know amp up uh, my use of uh, Devon Think and. Uh, you know, I've got uh, too many too many random files and things and PDFs I save and so on and so forth. And you know, what I've used Devon Think is a great tool. You know, I plan to use it more to put stuff into, including even you know, short, simple little notes, uh, because it's such a great repository to go out and search and find stuff that uh, you didn't even know you had, or ideas that you didn't even know you figured out and wrote down. You know, seven point three eight nine two one. Uh, years ago so uh, maybe that fits into this other arch of an idea here of uh, eliminate the noise but um, it's uh it, it's a different take on it it's just uh, a different way to sort of manage uh, information overload and as far as the noise and things my only comment would be it's your attention turn off the crap you know don't uh, <laughs> don't allow yourself to be ignored because ultimately it's your attention not theirs and if they really want the, if they really want your attention, they should pay for it instead of giving you some titillating, you know, image or headline. So um, trying to compress everything down, you know, just uh, use tools to manage the amount of information that uh, you come across uh, that you try to save away for you know future time for a future reading or future time for future search when it will be valuable to you. With that, back to you. Mark, that's a really good one, and I'm really intrigued by the Devon Think um, because I use Devon Think as well, and I, I love it. I used it. My principal use for it is managing my scanned documents, mm -hmm. um, and but but like you, I know that there's so much more power there. I need I need to spend some time to get more out of it. Is there a particular reason you've you've selected that, or is it because of the power that you have seen in your past experience? Um. More the latter is because of the power I've seen. You know, so what I do, you know, for scan documents, I use Text Expander, so I have all sorts of things, so I can, you know, I can automatically you know, have a consistent and automatic naming scheme for, you know, various bills and statements and other things that uh, you know I scan on a, and save on a regular basis. But the thing about DevonThink is uh, its search capability. And it's really, really good on that. And it helps bring up you know, documents and other things that uh, uh, you know, you're looking for that uh, maybe you filed away deeply buried in you know, some folder, you know, nested set of folders. But um, it, it's really, it's a great way that uh, you can, with uh, some of their uh, web clipping tools, that you can store information that you come across on a, on a casual basis or on a serious basis. And uh, again, because of the searching and organizational capabilities, it uh, it seems to me it's really uh, un, um, unsurpassed. And it has a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, it's really a great, uh, great tool and great app. How do you use it, Chuck? Uh, again, I set it up as uh, as my way of capturing all my scanned documents. Um, and 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 you're right. The scanning or the excuse me, the search capability is phenomenal, because if uh, I, I drop something into my scan snap, it goes into Devon Think, um, it gets OCR'd, it gets named and filed, and then especially like tax time is a perfect time for me to go back in and start searching for for things and. And when I say search, I don't mean like, oh, my God, I've got to dig through and dig through. I mean, hit the search button, say, this is what I want, and bang, it's there. And and yeah. I can export it, or I can just copy the information. I can do whatever I want with it. But you're right, because there's no reason. I, I mean, you, I know you can store URLs. You can store documents within it. You can store all kind of things within it. Um, and it, it is, it's a phenomenal tool. So. Yeah, that's right. And and uh, some of the and some of the other benefit yeah. is that uh, it, it's not you know it's not scarfed up and stored in some sort of uh, you know proprietary format. You can set it up so that uh, you point it to where you uh, store documents. It will go out and in, you know you search them and index them. You know creates a concordance so you can you know, which is another way to you know search for uh, you know sometimes you know, I remember partic particular words or phrases or things and uh, in, in that regard it's a great tool for helping master the amount of uh, you know information that we all come across on a regular basis 
great. That that is a really really great recommendation. I think you just added to my New Year's resolutions. Thank you, thank you. Well, hopefully, you already, since you already have it, I haven't cost you any money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's that's the, that's the one thing. Brittany, what do you think? Are you going to yes. be serious or? So I have been drawing a blank since I got on here and realized that's what y'all were doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I well, really let, respect hey, back, Brittany, the ones I've heard. Yeah. Let me give you a minute to think because I just want to point out to both Mark and Chuck that I thought there was something about this. And uh, Take Control Books has a free Take Control of Devin Think 3 book. I know. Yep. So it's, your, mm. it's yours for the asking. So if anyone else was also inspired by that, if you just go to takecontrolbooks.com, they have a Devin Think 3 book that you can, ha that you can have for free. Yeah. So, and wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kelly. I will make sure I put that in the show notes um, because that, that book is, has helped me innumerable times um, to get questions answered on Devin Think. And it's yeah. a good way to, uh, to help you get into it. So yeah. thank you. I have it and I'm, I'm probably in the, in the same boat with like dusting it off. I think that's what reminded me. Like I thought there was something where that was free. So yeah, yeah. so it's free. Good there are, I think they have a couple of other ones that are free as well. Um, mm -hmm. So, so uh, like if I need to read more books this year is a thing on your list, you could go to take control and read a book that will teach you something awesome. Agreed. So, Brittany, that was uh, that was your your. I did all pack. I could for you, baby. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can't you can't make my brain start working at this hour. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just it's just that's all I got. It was a committee yeah. meeting. I know the last of what you had went to that, and now, yeah, <sighs> guys, I had to look at an org chart. I'm self employed. Why do I have to watch an org chart anyway? <laughs> um. <laughs> I may have gotten a text earlier about like, uh, I, I'm questioning all my life choices right now. <laughs> and they're all good people who put up with horrible things I said in the chat. Worse than anything I put in here tonight. Um, no, I, 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 when it comes to text, if I have a lot of business goals, but, or, or like things I want to strive towards, I have a pretty good relationship with technology. Um, there is one thing and I've not come up with a solution for it, which is, engaging less in my I, I'm comfortable with the things going to my notification center just not the frequency with which I pull it down and so I'm going to think about changing sort of that automatic behavior but that's a very long standing thing um it just because I I don't want to deal with it right now why did my finger automatically do that <laughs> so <laughs> yeah those those are some of the things that I'm, I'm thinking on, but I can't say, oh, I'm doing that thing because I mostly sort of like my relationship with my tech. So, oh, I do too. <laughs> so is your, is your, uh, are your business objectives, um, Brittany, tied to uh, achieving those objectives? Or is it tied to technology, to tools that you're using now or tools that you need to use? That I want to learn. Yeah, actually. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to look into uh, platforms for hosting courses. Um, like video courses. So that's hmm. one of the things I'm looking at doing. So yeah, okay. I guess that's tech related. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Brittany's going to take cheat. us all to school, y'all. <laughs> Heads up. And then, the reason... Oh, oh Guy, go ahead. Sorry. No, that was it. Just Disney oh. World. Oh, Disney World. <laughs> well, the re As a goal? The reason, yes. Yeah. The reason I brought it up is, and I'll, I'll wrap up this up with one other of mine, and that is I, ch I want to challenge everybody to go out and do just what we were talking about with Brittany. L pick something new, whether it's a program, a project, and that you've never done before, and learn how to do it. And that's whether that's building a website or building a web server or setting up a, a network attached storage, you know, stretch yourself a little bit. Um, but And don't just stretch yourself for the sake of stretching yourself. Have an objective and let it be something you want to accomplish. But I think I, I have a couple of those myself. I already started doing one of those. And it's it's stuff that, you know, it's like, okay, I, I've got to, I've got to, Finish up some projects, but I want to put one one more thing on my plate that I really want to learn about and get done this year. And that's that's the way that I think we'll end this. So, and Frank says computing. Yeah, good point. Um, guys, we're pretty much out of time. That was one round of resolutions. We could have gone for a lot longer, but um, 
I think there's a lot of good stuff there. And definitely there's a theme of turning down the noise. So good job. Let's go around the room and let folks know where they can find you uh, when you are not here doing confessing to your resolutions or suggesting resolutions. Hmm. And I'm going to try to keep the order again. Um, David, I think you were up first. Yep. Uh, find me at uh, my podcast, In Touch with iOS at InTouchWithIOS.com. Jeff's going to be on the show this week, so we're going to have a lot of fun. And um, I'm on the Mac show uh, with uh, with our friends at the British Tech Network from time to time. And uh, Mac to the Future Go with uh, Guy Cyril and Warren Sklar. And we have a lot of fun there as well. And uh, you can find me on Twitter at DaveG65. Great. Thank you, David. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Guy, is that you? <laughs> that slight it... hesitation says volumes. <laughs> well, I, I wasn't quite sure it was really you. I was still looking for those all those other characters. So <laughs> I turned it off. I turned it okay. off. Okay. All right. Where can folks find you? Uh, the website is vertshark.com. Uh, look for searleswapmeet.com coming soon. Uh, th- there's also, of course, the My You're Mac welcome. podcast that I do with, with Gaz Maz and, of course, Mac to the Future. And uh, my, the podcast I do while driving, because that's such a stupid thing to do, which is Guy's Daily Drive. Uh, you can find all of my videos over on YouTube and uh, just look for Vert Shark and like, share, subscribe. If you miss it the first time, like, share, subscribe. It's so easy. <laughs> That's about it. Great. Thank you, Guy. Good to see you as always in whatever form you happen to appear to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, <sighs> I am a chameleon. Is this yeah. the final yeah. evolution? Is there one more? <laughs> I could fire it up again if you really oh, want. <laughs> okay, so now I'm thinking about Pokemon. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Mr. 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 Gamut, where, where can folks find you? Uh on all the shows, I, I get around. Um, so yeah, this this week I'll be doing um, uh, Dave show, and then a couple British Tech Network shows at the end of the week, and uh, uh, I, I get around. And I have some stuff of my own that's in the works, and uh, now that uh, that a lot of stuff seems to have settled down, and I can actually make things happen, that'll be coming soon. And uh, and also, I've decided that uh, I have one more New Year's resolution, which is to start drinking beer from a mason jar, just like Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was being subtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, yes. and I'm Jay Gambit, Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, Andrew, it's real subtle when you know you're you're like here. This is what yeah, I'm drinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you see the goldfish. You know those are see through, right, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put the beer so in them. Andrew. They're not. <laughs> Kelly didn't brag folks. about it. She would be subtle. So. <laughs> Andrew, where can There's folks a reason you? you can't see into this one. That's all I'm saying. Uh, good point. Um, Thank you, Guy. <laughs> You're welcome. So you That's can crazy. find me at the Mac Observer, um, where you can find all my writing. And because Kelly is here, I am reminded that we also do a podcast every Friday called Security Friday, where we talk about security news of the week, and we try to give people practical tips like using a password manager, for example. So check us out. Great. Thank you. Thanks for coming. It's always good to have you. <laughs> yeah, good to be here. Mason jar or not. <laughs> uh, Fra- Frank, where can folks find you now that you've revamped your website and all? Uh, Matt's still at the same address, ympnow.com at Screencast Online. Uh, at F Petrie on Twitter, and you pointed out to me that on Instagram I'm at Frankie P H R A N K Y. I didn't realize I, that I had a different address there. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, you'll find me torching this desk. <laughs> <laughs> so I've if we see that. A, if we see a glow from the east, we know what happened. Frank is yeah. Frank is. <laughs> Decluttering. <laughs> we do that in Jersey. We do that a lot. Mm. Kelly, I think, are we down to 15 seconds? Maybe. Oh, you got to test her each week. Oh, no. 
Oh, <laughs> down to five it, seconds. It <laughs> sounds like a drinking game. No, that'll be. A, I, I wanted to give her a chance to get practice. So, okay. So, Here we go. Do I need to start a timer? Sure. Hold on. All right, and go. You can find me five days a week hosting the Mac Observer podcast over at MacObserver.com. You can occasionally find me over on The Incomparable, where I talk about all kinds of other stuff on Twitter and Instagram. I am Verso, and I think mostly that will do it. Oh, I have a show with Mike Rose called The After Show. 15 seconds. Boom. Wow. <laughs> okay. Kelly will now go into training for ne- for next week uh, for, <laughs> for the 10-second run. Oh, no. Thanks for being here, Kelly. Good to see you. We're going to get down to two seconds. Uh, oh, no. Mr. Fuccio, the man with the big 2021 behind him. It should be a great year. You know, it can't be any worse uh, than last. So. Just don't, don't jinx it, Fuccio. Do not no, even yeah. say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not tempt fate with this group. Yeah, hey, 2020 is behind all of us. Yeah. Why not 2021 behind us? <laughs> Work it. Wow. Where can we find you, Mark? <laughs> Jordan Sweet in Twitter at M A R K F U C C I O, all one word, at Twitter at, at Mark Fuccio. Simple, Great. short, sweet, no noise, no clutter. There you go. Thank you so much for being here. And um, and thank you for having yet another great background. We will look <laughs> forward to uh, to many more during the year. Uh-oh. Last but absolutely not least, Ms. Brittany Smith. Brittany, where can we find you? On Twitter, I'm the ADD Liberator, and my website is conquer.consulting. It's easier when you don't do very much, Kelly. Just saying. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it was well like, uh, that probably uh, wasn't the five-second version. Yeah. Here's two oh, things. Man. Have them. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Folks. Yes. Yes. Folks, I I'm had time for bragging. <laughs> I'm Chuck Joyner. This is my show, and I am going to find the mute button one of these days again. We do this every uh, every Tuesday, um, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, uh, excuse me, Pacific. Um, join us here on Facebook. Join us on YouTube. Um, we broadcast to both, and we would love to have you join us either in the Zoom room or just in the chat. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode you will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.